You're still watching Ways. Now, June 19th was officially designated as World Sickle Cell Awareness Day. The International Awareness Day is observed annually with the goal to increase public knowledge and an understanding of sickle cell disease and the challenges experienced by patients, their families, and caregivers. This year celebrates the 10th anniversary of World Sickle Cell Day. Synerge, in collaboration with Sickle Cell Disease Association of, of America, Incorporated is launching a 24-hour awareness campaign this year called Shine the Light on Sickle Cell. This national awareness effort encourages community-based organizations, individuals, and anyone concerned about sickle cell disease. Now, we invite you to join with friends, family, neighbors, and others in your community as people around the nation and across the globe host and hold local gatherings to shine the light on sickle cell disease. Today, we must and will find a universal cure for the sickle cell disease. The only universal cure yeah, for is, not for <laughs> is for not to get is, married. Is not to get married. AS and AS should stay no. away from I think we, we've all come I to that. I think that's yeah. the ultimate. The first question uh, mm. my husband asked me the first time, I think when he became, when he was looking like he was liking. <laughs> he was likely. <laughs> he was liking the <laughs> situation. <laughs> You know, he just ask me, I mean, what's your <laughs> genotype? I don't bother because my genotype is A, so I don't bother. Mine and you wouldn't AA, bother, but if... Yeah, 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 that's why I said that. Yeah. 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 So he that, asked mm. because he is AS. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you know, definitely. I am AA. You mm. know, I think so that's the only snack. I think it's just it. important, please, because this is, a, um, this is a subject that is very dear to my heart. You know, so sickle cell is close to my heart, so it's close really? to home for me. And I know that, I mean, the only responsible thing to do, no matter how much you're in love, please... Check your genotype. At I least, know of a yeah. family who well, was the problem a man is, at and what a woman. Stage do you check? A man and a woman Before had you fall in love eight too children. <laughs> they had eight children, oh. and out of the eight children, they had four of them that were sickle cell tested. Wow! And they lost four, four of them. Oh Jesus! That's, that's the that's the that's so the tough one. So you can see how one. devastating it can be. It can oh, be. Yeah. Very, it's, it's very. They should just have stayed. You don't want to go through that hat. Exactly. All right. So, Lamy, what did you find for us in the news today? Okay. Hot gist. <laughs> it's about Obaseki okay. and the whole drama surrounding um, his disqualification and all that. First, for me, last week we were going to take the story, but we couldn't take it. The first thing that crossed my mind at the time he was um, disqualified was at this stage of our national lives. I don't think we should be having that discussion of ordinary, uh, what we're talking about, SSC certificate. Mm -hmm. I think it's a bit, it's, a, it's an assault on our national collective intelligence. <laughs> I think so, at this stage of our national lives, we should be talking about SSCE. Mm. And I think it's a ripple effect of the fact that there is no broad, you know, educational policy. Yeah. If there's a broad one, I think we'll be having this discussion because it'll yeah. be a given that everybody's going to have an SSE. Yeah. Then, to the story of him decamping to... Um, PDP. PDP. I knew that was given anyway. That's not coming to me as a surprise because Nigerian politicians, they are after their own self-ambition. They, they don't have to, ideologies. There are no ideologies. And, but but let me... There are I, no ideologies. You know, I told you that before we came on set. No, but, but I want to disagree with you. You can, but so, I don't know. You know, yeah. you know why I would disagree with you? Yes. Before this man finally decided to resign, Yes. You remember he was asked the question when he was, when, when the primaries, um, they said he wasn't qualified to, he was disqualified from the primaries. He was asked the question, so what was the way forward now? He said, no, he doesn't have anything to say now until he sees the president. Yes. So yes. he went to see the president. And what should the president do? you understand? Do? No. At the national level. What so, should okay, now, does this not tell you that this was more of a personal issue than his certificate no. issue? Why? You know why I say that? Not, I'm not because you know, when the new chairman came in, he was saying that I re I, he was rejecting his um, Listen, he was rejecting are, his, you don't, you don't understand his resignation. That he no. wasn't going to accept his resignation. No, no, no. So it well, means well, that the resignation down, was not... Down. Let me respond to that. I'm not taking it from the angle of the internal crisis. Yeah. What I'm talking about is... ideologies. Why are they always jumping from what? Because some few years back, you were against this party. Now, mm -hmm. you, are brandishing the, you are branding this party to us again. What is wrong with Nigerian politicians? What is wrong? Well, okay, I, some I, few I understand moments, from Some that few point. years ago, I you were telling us PDP was not, you mm -hmm. know, it is the APC. Now, the same Adam Soshomale is coming back to tell us it is the same, he's a young, some few years back. They were, I don't understand what kind of... I think they, they are they think we're as well. Yes, and I, they sell it to us and we all accept it. It's mm. because they have now made they've given. I'm so sorry Go to ahead, say, please. I'm so sorry. We, um, they've now given 
of that a waiver. <laughs> They've shifted the day of the primary from the 19th to the 22nd for to accommodate just one person who is coming from another different, a totally different party. Mm -hmm. Then what happens to the people who have been sewing and toiling for that in the party? party? What is wrong with us? <laughs> I think we should, uh, because we can't exhaust uh, political topics. But oh, we, I, I never we, like we, to have to, we have to bring it back. Though. Oh, yes. <laughs> but um, Isi, what do you find for us in the okay, news? Okay, in the news, the, um, the House of Representatives, um, uh, what's it called? Um, diaspora, mm. uh, the committee, they are currently kicking against the fact that the federal, the um, Lebanese ambassador has stated that they, he wants... Uh, an exchange of the people who have actually taken part in trafficking that are on trial currently in Nigeria. They want an exchange for um, the, what's it called, the Lebanese mm. and... Prisoner swap. And, uh, yes, oh, and uh, what's that. her name? Temi Tokwe, who is a 31-year-old that was... Uh, that declined to come to Nigeria? Aside from that, the bottom line is that they want her to come back home. So yeah. that she, she's not um, relegated Legal. and um, maltreated again. But the key thing here is this, that what will give the Lebanese ambassador the authority to come back and say he has the, F, let me use the word F on F tree, on yeah. to um, ask for a prisoner swap. Mm. I think it's totally wrong. And I, it, it comes from the aspect of the fact that okay, the government see, I didn't get must right. have... Please, can you explain again? Yes. You mean that from the story of mm. that lady who declined to come back to Nigeria? Yes. Now the, the Lebanese ambassador is asking, she wants to he deport wants her. To, he wants to bring her back home. Well, he's asking for asking somebody for in return. Not only somebody, <laughs> apart from that human, the human traffickers or the yeah, Lebanese that, were, that they were are on trial for in, human trafficking. For, for human that's, trafficking, I mean, that's, wants, that's so what will give no, him no, that no, right? No, 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 no. Like what gives him that no, entry to do that? No. I think it's it's it still comes the back to, to where we right have now. Yes, actually now. portrayed and it is also how we have treated ourselves. Them. I don't exactly. believe so. You know what? Lebanese are not they are as bad as Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> Our values, our values system are almost the same. So yeah. I'm not shocked anyway. <laughs> right, they are so almost quickly. the same, but they're not the this, same. I think, story, I think our own is even better. <laughs> I think Trust so. Me. Honestly. Uh, mm. the, the labor minister, hmm. uh, of, uh, the, the minister of labor and um, employment, Chris mm. Ngege, disclosed that he's released about 4.5 billion naira to the federal, um, to 31 federal teaching hospitals and medical mm. centers nationwide. I mean, you know, this is coming at, off the back of the strike, Strike, you mm -hmm. understand? And uh, uh, well, I'm happy, I commend them, you know, that at least they have released the funds for the doctors <sighs> to be able to pay them. The headline says that now the doctors, all the allowances for striking doctors have been released and all of that. That's and, a fantastic one. And he also said that some, some still, would cover I'm the hal cover hazard <laughs> inducement allowance of um, the striking doctors mm -hmm. from a for April and May. And so I'm happy they've done this, you know, but it, it didn't have to get to this. Thank you. You understand? Um, people are saying that should the doctors have gone on strike, should they, you know, shouldn't they have whatever? I said, but no. If they didn't if they do don't it at this time, no, you you get, wouldn't have come out. get that. Even if they, if they don't go on strike and they go and work unprotected because what of the the fight is hmm. we don't have protective gears and all of that yeah. if they go to work unprotected they will die and we at the end of the day resources. we will lose yes. doctors because Ooh, yes you know so we're losing on both ends yeah. so whether i mean it, people will say oh it's not morally justified for them to have no no no, yeah, no, no. Gone on that not strike, moral, it's not moral because they're also human beings they have a duty to but protect themselves there is, i don't know if you saw the story of a lady who was pregnant and she came with the husband I, it was on social media mm -hmm. um, during the week the husband went to the hospital with the woman and the woman was pregnant and the doctor or the hospital refused to treat the woman while and the woman died in front of the hospital wow. so i don't think there's no moral that is not a, that's that's well totally that's another angle that's no, no, that's, we've treated that, that one. Yeah. we talked yeah. about that we'll that's about totally it. different that's what different. we're even talking about now is mm. a ppe and all the conditions yeah, you have to the give condition to of um, working because if condition. they don't have that they cannot work um, all um, right that's so i think we, the but do we understand this is not our topic for the day no but does the government understand that doctors are frontliners in this issue and they should be giving utmost priority. I they don't understand. Do. Even the Why police, should they have to go on strike? Guess what? Even the police are frontline workers. Of course. They but they do. are not giving protective gears. Hmm. So it's actually, it is actually going back to the treating it from the roots. All right, so we'll take a break. Ladies, this is not our topic Ooh. for today. Absolutely. Taiwo Adejumo will join us right after the break to discuss grief. Stay with us. We'll be right back.